sabe o quase é nítido na grego Ajê Me doi sa e suma prego Ajê O quase é nítido na grego Ajê O doi sa e suma prego Ajê guys welcome back to my channel it feels so good to be back i have missed you guys i have missed youtube so much like honestly i cannot contain my excitement thank you guys so much for your support so in today's video the look i'm bringing you is an anti-valentine's day makeup tutorial everything i used will be down in the description box so you can check that out if you want if this is your first time coming to my channel thank you please do not forget to like share and subscribe and yeah if you want to know how i achieved it please keep on watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye so the first thing i did was to use a scarf just to tie around my hair to stop my hair from getting in the way then i went in with my primer and i'll be using the elf mineral infused face primer and i'll just be rubbing that between my fingers and spreading it evenly across my face to give me that smooth base for my foundation and every other thing now i'll be going in with my spoolie and i'll be brushing my eyebrow hairs into place then next I'll be using my MAC brown eye pencil and I'll be outlining my brows and following the natural shape of my eyebrows. You could be mine, oh, you could be mine, oh, you see you want it. I'm using thin strokes, I'm just going to be filling my eyebrows in and then going in with my spoolie and just blending everything now to make it look even and natural. Then to clean up my eyebrows, I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'll just be using my angled brush and outlining my brows and cleaning off any mistakes that I might have made along the way. And to outline the upper part of my brows, I'll be using the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in the shade NW45. I feel you don't know what's wrong, especially how I feel. You said you wanna take me, take me away. Simply blending it out with my fingers. Then to prime my eyes, I'll be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I'll just be applying that all over my eyelid. And then going in with a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend everything out. to set it with my benign setting powder in the shade buff so i'm just going to take a sponge and pat it all over my eyelids and then take a powder brush and just brush off any excess powder then i'm going to go in with my studio makeup contour palette and i'm going to be taking that contour powder and i'll be using it as a transition color so using my bobby brown eyeshadow brush i'm just going to be applying that all over my crease then i'll be going in with the saharan 2 palette by juvia's place and i'll be taking the shade Taza and I'll just be building on that transition color I'll be going in with my Zulu palette also by Juvia's Place and I'll be taking this medium brown color right here and I'll be building on that transition color even more Anywhere that you go I go follow you they go baby pana they say you like cassava you get a big cassava baby pana my love for you. Once again with my Saharan 2 palette, I'll be taking the shade Fez and I'll be patting it on the outer corners of my eye just to give it that smoky effect. And going in again with Taza just to blend everything out and make it look even. Then I'll be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is in the shade Fawn and we'll be doing a full cut crease today. So I'll be using my angled brush and from the inner corners of my eyes to the outside, I'll be using that concealer just to cut out my crease. I'd be lying if I say and because this is a full cut crease tutorial, we are going to be dragging that concealer to the outer corners of our eyes forming a wing and it's going to look a little something like this. Then I'll be going in with my eyelid brush and then back to my Saharan 2 palette using the shade Marrakesh. I'm going to be applying that all over my eyelids. Oh, you say you want to take control, control. 
and using my makeup wipe to wipe off any fallout and then taking my MAC black kajal I'll be using this to wing out my eyeliner we'll come back to the eyes in a bit next to foundation I'll be using the MAC studio fix fluid in the shade NT45 just bringing out one to two pumps of that and using a, my fingers to just dab it all over my face and then blend it out with a damp beauty blender I don't know what's wrong with expressing how I feel You don't know what's wrong with how I feel To highlight my face today, I'll be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey and I'll be applying that on the lower corners of my eyes and I'll just be dragging it out to the outer corner to wing out my eyeliner a bit I'll be applying that on my chin, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and my forehead and then blending it in with my beauty blender and guys, I did notice my face was starting to look a little bit white, but that was because my camera was starting to pick up on a lot of that concealer and powder. But don't worry, it's going to get better towards the end. So now I'm contouring my face with my KKW Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Deep Dark. I'm just applying that on the bridge of my nose and then blending it in with my beauty blender. But when that's done, I'll be going back in with my Benai Banana Powder and I'll be setting all the areas of my face that I highlighted. And then to set my contour, I'll be using that contour palette by Studio Makeup. Oh baby, he go kill somebody. Oh no. And then taking my MAC brush, I'm going to brush off all the excess powder. I get you all up, baby, Pana. Anywhere that you go. Going in with my Zulu palette, I'll be taking that rosy pink color and I'll be applying it all over the apples of my cheeks as my blush. And then next, I'll be setting my face with the MAC Studio Fix Plus and I'll be soaking my face in that, guys. I soak my face in setting spray. That's just what I do. Then using my palette as a fan, I'll be drying that out and I'll be highlighting the highest peak of my brows and I'm using the shade Aziza from the Sahara 2 palette. Hello. Then I'll be going in with my Zika Cosmetics Glow Kit and I'll be mixing in the shades Golden Bronze and Sunburst and I'll be applying that on the highest points of my cheeks. So on the bridge of my nose, then I'll be taking my black opal eyeliner pencil and I'll be using it to outline my lips. You could be mine, oh. you could be mine. Then for lipstick today, we'll be using the classic makeup lipstick and this is in the shade Deep Purple and I'll just be applying that all over my lips. Control. Control. The way you did on me, oh back back. Then I'll start. I'll just clean up the edges with my concealer and blend it out with my finger. I'll go back in with my kajal and just line the lower lashes, and then go back in with fez and I'll just smoke it out. Next, I'll be up using my lashes, and the lashes will be using are the Lily lashes, and this is in the style Goddess. I'll be taking that with my tweezers, using my Lily lashes adhesive, and we'll be applying my lashes. Now for the inner corner of my eye, I'll be highlighting with my Naked 3 palette and this is the shade Dust and I'll be using a compact powder and just brushing off any excess powder and cleaning off my makeup once and for all. This is the final look guys. I hope you guys like this look. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Oh,